Hello there everyone and welcome back. I am in a bit of a losing streak so far and while some of it has been disheartening due to RNG, some of it being my own abysmal fault, we are going to start and try to rectify a lot of this. Because already I have beacons on all my saucers and even an auger probe which in all honesty I am really really tempted to just take this off right now. I don't feel like it's going to be as effective as I am imagining it's going to be. But with less than 2 minute cooldown, it could have a use. Honestly, I prefer more of a repair drone as opposed to this, especially for my Dalif, which is more of a support ship with its bombers and all that. But nonetheless, we're going to try a few things different. There has been a bit of discussion regarding the uses of my uh, frigates, since I don't think I've been utilizing them very well, and we're going to try and change a couple of the upgrades, but nothing too drastic. Because right now, the Nikas are here. They got extreme, extreme range already with the two upgrades that extend it. So with 12k range, I think that may be a little over the top until I have more upgrades for the, like the custodian that to kind of extend their range. So that's going to be on hold for now. And I think I'm going to replace that with sensors. And do I want to remove the enhanced cogitators? I think I do. Because I don't have the bonus for lock on anymore, so I think I'm gonna remove that as well. But we're gonna leave these up. That'll be the last one I'm removing. So it it's a question of whether I want to increase the defensive turrets, kind of like how I've been using my Imperial Navy frigates, because they've been pretty effective at like shooting down torpedoes. But at the same time, my Imperial Navy had no fighters to shoot them down, so I kind of question that to be honest. Otherwise, it's more defenses there, which really there isn't much in defenses aside for staff alloy. Which, with only two of these currently, I don't think that's a big deal. And now the wardens, I would like to keep the sensor on them without a doubt. If they're going to be useful, because I think these might be more useful with my saucers, because these things are more mobile, so they can keep up with my air cache ships at least. So, I, the, the little bit. The weird thing with it, though, is my, it's my custodian that's fielding the wardens and my daylof that's fielding the Dao, so it's a little bit mixed up there. But I'm really contemplating should I keep this stealth alloy or not? I like the potential on protecting my flank because that is the one weakness I've been noticing with all these mirror matches. My flank is incredibly vulnerable if I get outmaneuvered. And with their ships having staff alloy, that is a very real possibility. So at least with this, they can fly into my ships without them realizing it. The question is, what do I replace some of these upgrades with? Probably just the extended railgun, maybe. Although, in realistically, the ion can be better for fighting the prow. Again, this is going to be going with my sauce I think I'm going to experiment with. So the railgun, with its slightly bigger punch, Especially against shields that have no armor on the the sides, so that should in theory be better. I'm hoping anyway. I'm gonna try and adjust a little bit, but I like the Dow more for my custodian because they can keep for the same reason really as with my wardens. They can keep pace with it without falling further ahead with the kind of drastic speed difference. If the custodian was an air cache, maybe I'd be a little more comfortable, but. I think the Dow can synergize with that a lot better, especially when you consider the water cash favor that allows me to replenish them. And of course, it's an Armir match. What this is kind of telling me is Tau is probably one of the more popular fleets, just because of how simplistic it is with Adaptive Deflector, maybe? That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling anyway. And I really hate f using my custodian against something that's probably much more experienced than me. I do want to try and start figuring this out some. At least a little bit. It's just bears. It just matters that I get my execution p done right, so that way I can know where the flaws are in it. When prows are getting destroyed, when I'm floundering the control of my ships there and not having a position, it's really hard to dictate the strategy itself. So I really need to get this execute right. Because really the only real experience I have with my execution was the one where my damn custodian and Dale got like their prowess destroyed almost immediately. 
And while that, I'm confident the strategy was good there, I had no way to see the end result, so that's a bit of a problem. Only thing is, I'm wondering how I should position my Dalef. In back, it's safe from fire. Put on the side, just a little bit. I want to try to bait some fire, but have the possibility to get behind the custodian when things get rough. So, and what the nebula class is, is this, he's probably going to deploy on the right here. So, I don't know if this is the best idea, but we'll see. And I still kind of want to have a warden on the right to cover my flank. I'm a little worried about that. But let's give it a try and see. To make it more simple, I'm just going to put this as a single group. Although maybe that's a bad idea because I don't want them to spread as much as they do. I want to keep their formation as is, as a nice little V square. Seems to work a little bit better and a lot more tighter formation in case for the point defense. Because it does lack the fighters. And let's see. Aircast ready for orders. So, so far, first impressions. They're all in the Nebula Cloud? Well, at least one is, without a doubt. Core L ready. So, or they have Stealth Ally, which is definitely likely the too. Imperial but until he pops out of the Nebula Cloud, in a way that I'm comfortable he's pushing forward, then I'll know if he actually has Stealth Our Ally. I probably really should group these Wardens and that together separately. That would be a little bit better, but it's too late now. I'm going to have to do it by hand. Just a little bit. In fact, okay. He is moving forward, so I might as well do the same thing. Fire in the Nebula Cloud there. Maybe I'll get an idea what I'm facing off against. And he does have nine ships, so... That's a lot of Dalus. A lot of... Well, Custodian and Dalus, maybe. Actually, let me turn this around, because I am getting really wide. And I'm going to dodge everything, too, so that's not too shabby. And I guess the fight is going to be for this Nebula Cloud. Now. Ooh, this is a good opportunity to group, get them grouped up. Let's see, group 5, and kept my group 4, perfect. Get you moving. And it didn't spy anything, but I... Oh, I did reveal him. And apparently he has a stronghold. Ooh. Seriously? You turned into the minefield. I know the minefields were there, but I was not expecting to actually fly into it. So, I don't know... I don't think that was my fault there, but I probably could have paid better attention to it, quite frankly. So that was a bit of a blunder, but I know what he's fielding. I saw a lot to Dao. Does that mean he has two Dale of Sand if you've got a stronghold? Because there's no way you can have two, like, nine ships there. But this, the good news is he does not have adapted deflector for his biggest ship, so that is a plus. I could exploit that a tiny bit, but he still has 75 armor on the front, so... Probably not as reliable as I'm thinking it'll be. And I don't want to waste... A recon beacon. Okay, there's two ships there. I have no beacons on here, but I can about reveal them in a moment. And they have staff out alloy, so those are Castellans, so that's where he spent his points. So, he doesn't have Dalefs. He could very well still have one, though. But he spent 100 points on the Castellans. Yeah, he definitely has at least one Dalef, without a doubt. So, Castell Custodian, you're going you're gonna to fix your position here. Can I spot this? Now, i got to figure out my priorities. I should try and get the easy kills there. Because I don't want to brute force my way through 75 armor. And try and spot those ships. Yeah, they're a bunch of frigates. But, oh, he's got a, he's got a second one. Wow. That has to be a bastion, right? If he's going to have Kisto... Okay. I know that's a deal, at least, so... Let's get the repairs going. So, this looks like a brace for impact moment, but I still have my shield, so... Supercharge, void shield, full value. Keep this thing alive, and actually lock on. And try and wreck this thing, because the bombers already did work. 
It's just not enough on its own. And I'm about to surround it in a moment. Oh, he's going for the ram, so I might want to brace for impact here. Okay, engage. Brace for impact at the ready. I should fire my secret missiles before he gets within the minimum range, but he's probably already minimum range. So everything, repair drones, get moving. This is going to be weird, so... This is really stupid. And I don't think I'm going to win this fight just because of his uh, mine laser, but... He, he is way too close for his torpedoes. So if I can break through this, then I'm good. Actually, I should get Rafe, get the micro warp jump handy there in case I am in a really too uncomfortable position. Actually, let me prioritize this thing. Try and destroy some of its weapons because I seriously doubt it'll kill the kind of laser. And actually, I don't want to get too far because of the repair drones. This sauce could use a repair drone right now. Dalif? Oh, that's not even my Dalif. Okay, my Dalif was taking all the damage. I thought it was the Sase that, was getting, er, that I'm running away with. Never mind that. There goes my prow, so... Time for evasive maneuvers. Where's a good spot to go, though? Because without a prow, I can't do crap. Yeah, I still got the ram, but... Huh. He didn't warp out. And oh, he used his micro-warp drive already, didn't he? The but I killed his brute force. That is a win in my book. Now I just gotta delay the inevitable. Which, what I mean by, I have to make sure my bombers get back up so they can do the damage they need to. But I also need my own fighters, because that's also his main strengths. So tight formation. Keep Get my fighters back up. Ideally, where are my fighters? Oh no, they're still up. I almost want to do a recharge, but with everything at half health, I'd rather brace if I can afford it. I have 8 seconds left on my cogitators, so... Close formation, I gotta kill some of this stuff. The stronghold was a big victory, but it's not enough on its own, because he's apparently focusing down this thing. And my, pr yeah, with the prow gun, I don't have my major torpedoes. I would love to kill these things, but with so many ships in the way, it's hard to do. I think my custodian should do it because it's massive overkill otherwise. I have to, it's, let me try and s preserve this thing, but with brace for impact and 95 armor, it should hopefully get away. Nope, the flank shot killed it. The bombers didn't do enough damage. And actually, let me lock on and try and kill some of these things. Because the Custodian is in amazing shape right now. He's just focusing everything else. Oh, uh, did I? I thought I told you to brace for impact. Maybe it's the wrong one that I saw it had brace for impact up. So engines are gone. So this thing has no choice but to soak as much damage as possible. We'll board this. Maybe we'll get some crits on it. Apparently, boring was a massive failure. But Custodian's in amazing shape. Now I just gotta make sure. Oh, that was probably a mistake because of all these damn uh, Dao in the way. They're just eventually gonna shoot down my fighters, even if it's strong, a very strong option. I don't know if that was the smartest choice or not, because those Dao will shoot it down. I do have a repair drone. I have repairs on this thing. I need to start killing some of these things, because with 50 armor, I am going to lose. I don't have the... I don't have the damage potential I need. Try and focus on what doesn't have brace for impact, ideally. And my fighters are already down, so this looks like a loss just because of that. Try and delay. And he does have two water cache fleets, so he's just going to keep building these things up. And I can't bomb him. Because of these Dao in the way. And yeah, it looks like I lost because of that, though. 
I'm going to have to try and warp out. It was going so well, too. Again, the Prow was a massive, massive liability. That's what I'm concerned about. I have no backup plan once the Prow is gone. So, if I could somehow get to level 4, I can get the belt armor. I don't know how practical it would be, though. Because so many frigates shot down my bombers because they don't have defensive... They don't have their def their shields and they don't have upgrades in it. Which makes it a huge liability, too. Because the bombers were the most reliable way I could kill them. But it's a huge waste if I use one minute cooldowns to attempt to kill frigates. It did amazing work on the stronghold though, I'll say that much. Because even with 75 armor and all my weaponry coming from the front, it did get destroyed relatively quickly. Again, that's why I want that flank. Because it heavily negates that and I can shoot at the cruisers more freely. Maybe? It's really hard to say. So, I should... And... Let's, oh, I was... I'm getting thrown off a little bit. I was contemplating the position of my frigates in my saw save. Of course, one of the wardens got destroyed by a mine. I don't know how much of that I could have prevented besides for just paying attention more. Nonetheless... That had promise. It was a lack of no flank. No flank at all there, and I did not even see what kind of upgrades he had on his, uh, Dalefs. But, I can be happy with it. I'm just, just not getting any experience, which is a huge problem for me. It's not like I'm gonna get any more Admiral levels, mind you, but... I'm not able to improve my fleet to fill in those gaps, either. Like with the Custodian not having the extra shields on his, on his bombers, or the belt armor to protect its prow. That could solve a lot of my problems. But, the Custodian is ideal for this type of map with a space station assault. It's like the perfect defense against against it. And I wasn't watching his name. Is this the same guy? Or just another Tau player? I'm determined to try and get this thing leveled up more. But when all my ships keep exploding because I have to commit when the engagement starts, and no means to effectively run away, unless I want to warp out midway through when my custodian still has like 50 health or something, or half its health rather. It's definitely questionable. Oh, this is 600 points. That's something I had not considered. Ooh, this changes things a lot. Am I comfortable with custodian for 600 points? Again, I still want to get the damn thing leveled up. My saucers are really good, so... Bombers are good for breaching armor, and I have the frigates to kind of de deal with his. Because I don't think I want to sprout that much. I just want to restrict his movement. So simple thing I want to do, since I have mines to lay down, I think I just want to put mines where he can potentially flank me. So that way he's kind of forced to fight from one direction. And this is my first time actually seeing a Tau battleship. Or battle station rather. It looks like Bespin. I'm not going to lie. There's not a lot of originality to this little station. But its weaponry probably is something not to scoff at. Eight uh, heavy rail guns. Of course it's like there's one on each section there. Yeah, it's all spread out, so it's not like the most ideal. But yeah, like I said before, mines. I want to prevent him doing an effective flank. Because I'd rather him come from the front. Which is probably what he's going to do anyway, but better safe than sorry. At least he'll sink twice before he goes over this way. If he'll let me drop them, which it isn't right now. So, I'll put three there. And the rest are going to be on my left flank. Completely useless. They're probably not going to do any damage, but it protects my backside. For what I've been saying before. Flank is very susceptible. It's just a little bit stubborn trying to deploy it. A little bit. 
Is it just Elaine? The inevitable probably is, unless I push myself forward in an aggressive posture. Nonetheless, secret missiles are pretty much going to be duds, without a doubt. I kind of want to reveal. I want a warning on the side, so for the possibility of revealing them at least. Down in the front. Or rather, I want them more on the side, but that's debris in the way, so it's probably not going to work. And I have 30 seconds, so let's hurry this along. Three, four, and you're just going to be my roamer, just in case. Let's see, I heard the missiles, so protector, two protectors, okay. So he does not have a custodian. I have that going for me. Do I have any way to tally his points? There's the two protectors there, Dalef, stronghold, so yeah, this is his entire fleet coming right at me, so again, mines were useless, but it's good to have that insurance policy at least. And now, those, that stronghold torpedoes does need to go down, because that's like the only thing that can reliably breach my shields. Let's see. Everything goes down nicely. Warrens. Let's, I'm just wondering, how do I utilize you? Because you got the range there. Any adaptive deflector is going to be hard to deal with. Now, let me just bomb the hell out of this thing. It's probably not going to work, but I already have fighters anyway. And he's already adjusting his secret missile p position, so... Rotate to adjust for that. And do I have a way? Okay, I do have... I should consider micro-warp jumping back once it gets to that point. Because the battle station contributing is going to be handy. I would like to kill that messenger because re-rolls against my bombers and missiles is actually pretty handy. So I would like to get rid of that. And we'll attempt to destroy the weaponry. I don't know if it's going to effectively get any prows for me, but... Oh, and he's got a battle spear? Wow. That's a massive priority. Mind you, it's cheap as hell, but it doesn't have 75 armor, so I'm okay with this. Now, I don't... I don't have my fighters. It's a bit of a problem. As much as I would like to kill this thing... Brace for impact, mitigate a ton of that damage because you're taking more than I would like. While the shields recharge. And everything move on out because he's just going to probably ram. And I would like... I thought I set you to priority. Why are you not shooting the damn... Oh, is it because I said... Nope. Uh, the priority thing is rebelling on me. And now that battle spear is going to do a ton of damage if I'm not careful. Come on. I don't want you turning there. I accidentally turned off your burn retros. But now my fighters are useless, so... Micro Warp Jump is mandatory. And thankfully, it gives me a good position. But now my da my Dalef's going to have to get on out. Oh, and I forgot this thing has bars. Which, didn't I just turn you to turn off your burn retros? Rebellious little thing, isn't it? But now I have lots of bombers coming in. I have... I sadly have no brace for impact, so... Ooh, supercharged foil shield at the perfect time, even though it's short-lived. And my damage is getting spread out. It's a bit of a problem. I would like to just focus on this, but bombers can't reach that now with the... with this thing in the way. Oh, can you seriously not? You're just out of reach of boring, so that thing is dead. Because I just micro warp jump in. As soon as it gets flanked, it's gone. So, Castonia's dead. Maybe it was a mistake to focus on the, the war spear, but again, 
most of my weaponry wasn't even shooting at it, so... Let's see. I probably should let this stay. Oh, its engine's gone. Never mind. I'll let it go. What? The oh, these are warrants. They look like Manta Bombers at first. Now you guys deploy effectively so I can use them. Let's see, you're only 50 armor, so brace for impact and minimize as much damage as possible. And sadly, this war spear's in the way, so I can't even destroy the Dalif. The war spear is continuing to be like wreckage, just blocking all the shots I could possibly do to this dang stronghold. I do have shield transfers. Is it? It's gonna speed things along. Can I do the damage needed to? Probably not. If I can get this thing down to like 30%, he'll f flee. Unless he wants to waste a uh, micro warp jump. Because I don't know if the if that's still available or not. It's close. Once the shields go down, I can lightning strike him, possibly. Oh, he did micro warp jump already, so... Never mind, he's che he's already got that covered. Not a lot I can do. Maybe I should have held back a bit, have the space station be able to def uh, contribute a little bit more, but... It's a little bit... Inf not a lot I can do with the custodian there. I don't have easy way to turn around. Unless I did immediately. That's unfortunate. The proud didn't die that time, but he was getting a little bit of flanks, and for some reason my damage was getting spread out, which doesn't help much. And again, no flank on my end means I couldn't, like, get some reliable damage in either. Which is kind of why I went after the Crude Spear, even though it's kind of questionable. It's not like I can easily run away. I'm just giving everything else free damage with the Custodian. So, could I have done a better Micro Warp Jump in that case? Should I have Micro Warp Jump to the left instead? At the time though, my Dalif was in the way, so if I await it, maybe. Yeah, Custodian's not working very well for me there. At least just brute forcing it. And of course with the fighters down, with him getting so close, I can't really be defensive very effectively too. Even though his torpedoes wasn't doing crap, I don't think, because of how close he was. At least the stronghold was too close for the first match anyway.